me personally, I was looking for several key things, um, and this company has delivered on that. This business has delivered on that. Um, being able to stay in my in the area that I really wanted to stay in, uh, to be able to to replace my corporate level income and then some, and then thirdly to be able to have uh, control over my future. Um, and I, I can work as hard or as little as I want, but that's under my that's my control versus having somebody else uh, dictate that. Uh, so all of those things are being delivered and will continue to be delivered and that's what I'm that's what I'm really thrilled about. As I was looking at the ITRA business model there were two significant things that really attracted me to the ITRA business model. The first of which was that I was able to grow it at my pace and I was able to determine at what point it was big enough because the beauty of the, the business model is such that you are able to continue to add properties and add staff uh, without a significant investment in warehouse space or office space. With regard to reinvesting in the business from an iTrip standpoint, um, uh, it has been significant. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of good stories that are out there, and you hear you hear a lot of uh, people talking about uh, the latest and greatest, and so on. So um, I, I was very careful, very cautious about joining the organization and actually being the second one in the company. I was concerned about would you would would, would the organization continue to reinvest into improving the overall business and obviously coming back and, and, and helping me in my particular territory. And, and that's exactly what's taken place. And uh, so I'm, I'm very excited about that as well as very appreciative of the fact that that investment has and, and will continue to happen. Uh, and we're, gonna, we're all gonna reap the benefits of that. I am able to collect the revenue from my guest prior to the booking so I don't have to worry about uh, accounts receivable. Um, and the, the sky's the limit on the potential in the market. Uh, there's unlimited source of properties out there, virtually more than I could handle just within my own territory. We've, we've already done as much business or more business than we did all of last year. That's going to be gone on a recurring basis. The more properties we get, the more revenue we get out of those properties, and we continue to book on those properties. I'm already getting bookings for 2013 and we've raised prices about 10 to 15 percent on those existing properties. So even if I don't grow by number of properties, I already know that by next year I'm going to be growing 10 to 15 percent. I know I'm going to be growing properties too. So already I know next year's growth is going to be pretty significant also. One of the things that I really like about the model, uh, which, we're, which we're really enjoying at this point in time, is that we are already five weeks into this year, we're already at 62% of where we were um, all last year. So that this model is truly working and we're, we're enjoying the fruits of that. Um, we're up to about 32 properties now, a uh, nice mix of properties, everything from uh, luxury one bedroom condo all the way up to a $30 million property with a pool on the roof. We have now about 70 properties um, under contract and uh, which is tracking with my goals for 2011. Um, and we are also, we have exceeded my revenue expectations in, as of October of 2011 for the entire year of 2011. Uh, we also have a significant number of bookings that are going, uh, that we've already taken uh, for 2012, which again follows right along with the residual model of, um, of, of having the repeat business and, and the repeat residual income, so it's extremely exciting. This is truly unique. This is a business opportunity like no other. Uh, the market is growing. Uh, the investment uh, is reasonable to get started. Uh, it's a good match for my skill set in terms of being able to uh, use my business development skills that I've uh, practiced over the years. Um, and, I, and I find that the growth potential for this is absolutely phenomenal. It's the right business at the right time. It's as simple as this. It comes down to the fact that the iTrip team, uh, this is a mutual benefit relationship. As I succeed, iTrip succeeds. And there's no bones made about that, that everybody understands this is clearly not so much on my shoulders, but I think it's a 50-50 balance between what I triple wants to accomplish and myself. Uh, so I don't feel alone in doing this. Some people may be concerned that being an entrepreneur, owning your own business is incredibly risky. But I look at the options and I look at, do I want to place my livelihood in the hands of someone else who at the single notice can decide that my job is no longer important? 
I see that as a much riskier investment of my time and my future, and not a risk that I want to place with somebody at this point in my life, realizing that 10 years from now, when it's, when it's at a point that I don't want to start over, I may be forced to do that. So the risk that I see is definitely in taking the job with a corporation that limits your ability to provide for your family, limits the amount of financial compensation, and takes away from you the benefit to personally grow and um, compensate yourself for the, all of the efforts and energy that you put into your own career.